Question number one, what led you to your team deciding to share students for reading? Well, there's some educational research that suggests that flexible grouping can be effective if groups focus on specific skills and if students are allowed to change in those groups once they master those skills. The previous year in second grade, we had used flexible grouping during our phonics time, which was our really great reading time for 30 minutes for all our students. This year, we got a little more ambitious, ambitious and we used flexible grouping for both our phonics time our small group reading time and benchmark, and even for some of our penguin time for students that had significant needs. For instance, they were more than a year below expectation in reading. 